doing the very touristy thing and doing a hop on hop off bus of Buenos Aires uh, trying our um, luck at city tourism something that we're not used to but that we are really trying to change while in um, South America yeah we hope to see some interesting stuff and so starts another episode of our South American adventure Thank you very much for our Patreons for making these videos possible. It's your support that assists us in making better videos. If you would like to support us, please go to patreon.com forward slash feel us on four wheels and subscribe today. The bus is quite well organized and this is an English um, soundtrack. city and to explore a few places that we liked. We loved the view from the open top of the bus and the height gave us a much better viewpoint on the city, the people and the buildings and all. The public art was fantastic and very varied, from the big ultra model to the small and quirky and very old classical style sculptures. Everywhere we could see that maintenance and repairs were happening beaten the curse of the museums on our first try because half of it was closed <laughs> but yeah half of the museum was closed and um, yeah like interesting yeah. um like yente del prete um artists we've never heard about learning new things i like this stuff yeah um it's very interesting one museum down within the first attempt we can maybe even do another one this week, honey. We said one. And one in a week, two in a week, maybe. We said maybe. Maybe, okay. <laughs> maybe we can try one tomorrow. It was great to see that the city takes care of its art and culture. The bus tour took us to all the famous sites. For example, the obelisk and showed some great buildings and landmarks. A great example of these buildings is the Theatre de Coulon one of the most famous and a very old theater with great acoustics in Buenos Aires. We learned a lot about the architectural heritage and the history of Buenos Aires and how the city was developed. The city has influences from all over the world and that is reflected in the architecture and the street names. It's clear that the city is a melting pot of many different cultures. We spent a lovely few hours in the tourist trap called Caminito, in the neighborhood of La Boca. The colorful neighborhood has lots of bars, restaurants and shopping opportunities. The museum um, strikes tw twice in the same week. Today we are visiting Mokba. Museum of Contemporary Art, Buenos Aires. When I'm in a contemporary museum, I always wonder, is it art? Or is it just to some, somebody that visited the hardware store? Yeah, maybe he did just visit the hardware store. There is regular political protests in Buenos Aires due to Argentina's widening wealth gap. But the protests is mostly peaceful and only disrupts the bus services. And it does not endanger you as a visitor at all. quick lunch at a notable pub, a traditional pub in Buenos Aires and it's quite a bit of food. I'm not sure if I can um, uh, finish it. Um, yes, sometimes we have to share. Yeah. What did you order? Uh, pork ribs. I thought you ordered the dead alien. Look at it. Yeah. So the ribs and this one. Yeah. That looks like a ham no, that's pork. Yeah. 
how if I read the menu right at school. And so ends our week in Buenos Aires. So impressions of the city, honey? Um, just waiting for the bus. I think um, because we stayed with Laura and Christian, it was much easier and convenient for us to travel through the city and we could take our time. Um, we did more, we saw more than on the last trip, so I think yeah, we had more time and to leisure around and see the different districts. We took the red bus um, and that gave us a better idea of the size and all the different cultural aspects. We even visited two museums, which is more on part of my size, which is three, four floors. The rest were closed. Yeah, and we, saw, we also saw um, how the locals live, not just the tourists, which I think is, uh, makes your visit different if you stay in a backpack or a hostel. Um, and the uh, very modern and uh, very old parts. With, um, today we visited the, the area called Camineta with the very colorful um, buildings and sort of a touristy trip, but it was very enjoyable. And yeah. then also... And had our beer, our um, big beer, which we normally have uh, as soon as we enter a country, but it took us a week to, to have that. And then also they... they the we are used to big shopping, supermarkets, and just the one brand here. Yeah, they still have the small shops and buy your cheese at the cheese shop and meet at the butchery. So that is like a very different to what we are used to. Um, just to see that that is still going on um, despite of big supermarkets also opening. Yeah, uh, refreshing, different, and adapting to the South American way. And tomorrow or the day after, we're heading back to our van. Our tini, here yeah, we go. Yes, and then our journey on the road will continue again. But that's a story for another time. So please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our patrons for making these videos possible.